Uh, the Bobcat Open uh, was a, a great start for us in terms of singles play. Andrew Warren, junior from Idaho Falls, won the tournament, didn't drop a set. Andrew played great, uh, both in singles and doubles the entire tournament. I, uh, he and Mikolai got to the finals of the doubles. I, I pulled them out of that due to some uh, health issues with Mikolai, uh, but I feel like they could have had a good shot at the doubles title also. But uh, Andrew had a, a year last year that was really tough. He had five, five losses where he had match points, and uh, he lost every one of those matches last year, and I kept telling him to hang on, and, and it's going to get better. And I really feel like he could set the tone for us this year, and he, and he did right out of the gate. So. Uh, great weekend for Andrew. Um, singles wise, Mikolai played pretty well. Uh, Mike Facey, Ethan Vaughn, Zach Drost, uh, Samian Bransberg. I was really happy with those guys' performances. Um, for the first competition and being in Bozeman, um, I, was, I was pretty pleased. It's a tough climate, it's altitude, first competition, there were some nerves involved. Uh, I was pretty pleased with that. Um, doubles wise, we had a couple doubles teams I felt didn't show up um, and we're really working on that in practice this week and hoping when we go to Eastern this weekend that I have four doubles teams who are competitive and intense because uh, that was lacking in Bozeman. Um, but all in all, uh, good performance by us. It's a starting point to, for me to know who's going to play where in the lineup, what our doubles teams uh, may look like. We're going to mix it up again this, this week at Eastern and hopefully have a set lineup for Boise and Vegas to follow. So um, our, the, the tone for practice this week and next is uh, to, to go real intense for 80 minutes on the court because we did not have everybody doing that in Bozeman and that is our goal for Cheney.